Arriving passengers may be met at the end of the yellow concourse. Arriving passenger Bonnie Spence, please pick up a white courtesy phone for a message. I'm gonna miss you, lover. Wait, don't say anything. I hate goodbyes. I cry easy. Please, just do this last thing for me. Just walk away. We've said, well, I've said all there is to say. Don't spoil it, just go. Announcing the departure of Trans Allied 136 for Detroit from Gate 7. Looks like we're going to have some weather. Uh, isolated showers. We're not even going to get our feet wet. Milk run. That mean you're actually going to let me fly this aircraft? Coming home. I'm going to hold you to that one, Captain. How you doing? Good Ready afternoon. To go? Yes. Nice to see you again, Colette. Good to see you, Captain. We're going to have a little weather. Are we still late? Mm -hmm. 65 to Detroit. We pick up 130 more passengers once we're there. Good. Ground PWH 900 heavy. Ready to push out. How you doing, Jake? I was gonna leave without you. Yeah, huh? Hey, Jake. You have a good weekend? Mm. Great. How was yours? Fine. Excuse me, sir. Could you step back out here, please? This is the final call. Get this shrapnel in my leg from the wall. I know. Come on, come on. You're holding us up here. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Keep it moving. You got a great face. I hope you don't mind. I've had pictures taken. So, uh, why did you do your fighting? Oh, got close to a couple of wars. Is that why one leg's short and the other? Most folks pretend not to notice. Well, it don't seem to slow you down, not. Huh? Could do me a favor, sign this release. Sure. Thanks. There's a living in this? I can't read this. Spart Cooper. Mine's Kendrick. Flight Pleasure. 141 well, for thanks. Omaha and Lincoln now boarding at gate five, Blue Concourse. Next section and on your left. Thank you. Hello. 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 together? Yes. All right. Mock airspeed warning. Check. Check. Stall warning. Check. Check. See this down this aisle and on your right. Okay, I'll notify the captain. Thanks. Thank you. Hello. Check status. Check. Check. Ground proximity warning. Check. Check. Section over to the I think I'd better take that for you. You must. Put it right over here in this closet. Uh, is this 
So much faith bringing your lunch. <laughs> this? No, oh, no, no. This is my purse. It's got all my junk. See? <laughs> Almost terminally cute. No good, huh? Oh, hey, I like it, really. You sure about that? Trust me, I know good taste. That'll be down in the next section on the left. Thank God we made it. We got all turned around. Oh. Okay, one section down and then over. Thanks. Have a good flight. Thank you. Cabin secured, 65 passengers. Thank you, ground control. 136, proceeding to runway 24. That's pushing in the alley behind you. You can uh, tow forward north of Brad. Going to Detroit? Yep. Business. Why else go to Detroit? You too? Uh, just for the day, I'm gonna read a paper. That's your paper? <laughs> you do know what you're gonna say. I'm speaking before the Detroit Historical Society on a matter of great importance to the development of American cultural history. The 68 riots? The invention of the tail fin. You're kidding. No, actually, the tail fin is a yardstick of uh, development of American social change. I'm surprised you're not talking about the Etzel. Who says I'm not? <laughs> well, I only told him last night. Mm. How'd he take it? He didn't believe me. <laughs> no one's ever dumped him before. Hard to imagine a man that cute. Mm. How about you? How come you've never been married? Or, or am I being too personal? Mm. Bad luck, maybe. I don't know. A couple of times I was too busy to know I was in love. One guy was married. One guy didn't ask. No. no one noticed. A grown woman? Do you remember the first time we traveled together? Eleven hours in the bus. That funny hotel with the narrow beds. <laughs> <laughs> Three days and two nights in Atlantic City. Oh, but what nights? <laughs> mm. Second honeymoon. 
Do you think it's going to be as good as the first? No. No? Better. <laughs> I am going to remind you of that. Chicago Center saying bye-bye. Changed in Annapolis Center, frequency 120.4. Switched over. France Allied 136, this is Indianapolis Center. Climb and maintain flight level 31000 and heading 080. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned off the no smoking sign. Smoking is permitted in rows 4 and 5 in first class section and in rows 30 to 35 in the coach section. Just to remind you, there is no smoking in the Oswald laboratories at any time. Would you please remain seated until the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign? Excuse me, love. Yes. Could you uh, uh, bring me an aspirin, yes, please? Of course, I have a okay. terrible headache. Could okay. you also bring a glass of water? Yes, I'll do that in just a minute, Thank okay? You. Yes. Okay? Thank Excuse you. me. Anything I can do for you folks? Uh, no, thank you. We were just uh, looking for something to you, drink. You really should be in your seats, okay? We'll get you something to drink just as soon as we've reached our cruising altitude, all right? So if you don't mind. Charlie Wilson, the door gunner. He pulled me out. I thought you'd forgotten all about us. Ah, uh, you're on my mind day and night. Uh, something light, please. Mm, cream soda? That's fine. What about you? Uh, I'll have a cola. Uh, would you mind going through your testimony one more time, please? Ah. Uh, Okie doke. Got an hour to kill. Coffee. Uh, wait, don't open it. Don't move! Do not touch that! Break radio contact! Headsets off! Headsets off! Damn it, I need to make contact with the ground! You still have a radio and a microphone. Punch a new heading! One zero zero! No, I'm not cleared for one zero zero. We've been conflicting with other traffic. Then he dies! All right, all right. Less than three hours flying time. That is enough. Would you mind telling me where we're headed? East. Can I uh, help my flight engineer? No! Look, he's no good to anybody like you. Shut he up or I will blow your head off! Trans-Allied 136, this is Indianapolis Center. You're off course, Trans-Allied. Return to 080 degrees. Do you read me? Trans-Allied 136, Indianapolis Center. Request you correct your heading. Do you copy? Please acknowledge you're heading into conflicting traffic. Sector 7, get me a supervisor right away. Trans-Allied 136, Indianapolis Center. You're off course. Do you copy? Trans-Allied 136 to Detroit. He's assigned 080, tracking 100. What's his situation? Flight level at 31,000. Clear a path. Clipper 387, this is Indianapolis Center. Immediately turn left, heading 240. Uh, traffic at 
20 miles, DC-10 at 12 o'clock, not responding to center. Detroit, this is Indianapolis Center. Are you in contact with Trans-Allied 136? Has he switched over to you? TWA 856, this is Indianapolis Center. Turn right, heading 320. Climb to flight level 340. Get me the regional supervisor. United, flight 17, this is Indianapolis Center. Turn left, heading 204, 17,000 feet. This is Indianapolis Center. We've got a runaway. Repeat, we've got a runaway. Hello? Art? Yeah? John Roberts. We have what appears to be an inbound hijack, a trans-allied DC-10 headed easterly. Has the captain squawked an emergency on 7500? Negative, but he's coming our way. Yeah, that gives him Kennedy, LaGuardia, and Newark. Put the Skyjack contingency plan into effect. Set it up at Kennedy. Place your mobile rescue unit on standby. I want 60 men. Roger. Oh, I've alerted the NYPD emergency services. Yeah, who's my point of contact there? Powell. Yeah, I worked with him before. I'll be there in 20 minutes. You want to tell us exactly what it is you want? What I want is for you to shut up. Passengers are going to start wondering. Turn on the seatbelt sign. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has just turned on the seatbelt sign. Please return to your seats at this time. Remain seated until the seatbelt signs have been turned off again. Thank you. Sir, the captain's turned on the seatbelt sign. Better buckle up. Excuse me, miss. We should have been in Detroit 20 minutes ago. What's going on? I guess we've been delayed. You guess? You don't know? No, but I will find out for you. I've taken this trip plenty of times. Never takes more than an hour. Doesn't seem like we're anywhere near Detroit. We're five miles up, Mr. Singer. It's hard to say just where we are. Pick it up. Say nothing. Captain, the passengers are asking about the delay. One of my flight attendants reports upset passengers. Just make an announcement. This is your captain speaking. A few of you are wondering why we're late. There's nothing to worry about. We've been diverted to another destination. We'll be arriving at John F. Kennedy International Airport outside New York in 45 minutes. We'll make every effort to minimize your inconvenience and see that you arrive at your destination as soon as possible. Meanwhile, I ask you to remain in your seats. This is definitely weird. Rita, there's nothing to be afraid of. Is Uncle Albert gonna be mad at us? No, why? Because we're going to New York. Oh, honey, we're not gonna stay here. We're gonna be at Uncle Albert's before he has dessert. Where's New York? A long way from Detroit. into some of the busiest air space in the world and this is their rush hour. I'd like to let them know we're dropping in. They know we are coming. Two, two left. We hit the outer marker about five miles out unless someone else happens to be in the space at the time. 
guys in the tower must be working overtime. Transat line 136, this is New York Kennedy Tower. Do you copy? Respond 136, this is Kennedy Tower. Damn it, right into traffic. Trans Allied 136, Kennedy Tower. Turn left immediately, heading 080. You're headed into traffic. Do you copy? We've got 3747s inbound on approach. All right, open a path for 136. Get all other incoming traffic out of the way. United 19, Kennedy 19, Tower. Turn left, heading feet. 050. Climb and maintain 5,000 feet. Break. Delta 17, Kennedy Tower. Turn left, heading 040. Climb and maintain 4,000. Copy. Testimony scheduled for 9 a.m. tomorrow. I certainly hope we have an understanding judge. Yeah, well, it won't be the first time I've been held in contempt. Miss, uh, is there any chance of a late flight back to Detroit? The purser's checking now. We'll get you there as soon as possible. John, what have we got? Uh, Mr. Hofstadter, I'm Bill Ortman. I'm the watch supervisor on duty. We have Trans-Allied Flight 136 inbound. We're waiting for a manifest to get a passenger count. Any contact? Negative contact. The captain has passed over the first two checkpoints for runway 22 left. Well, it looks like Flight 136 is going to be our problem. Excuse us. Let's play this by the book. Tell NYPD to block off the tarmac entrances and alert checkpoint securities. We're going to need their emergency services, blue and whites, for outer perimeter security. We treat this as an emergency. Put your sniper observer teams into position on 2-2 left. Then alert the mobile rescue force. If we need them, how long to put an emergency assault plan into place? An hour, maybe more. As soon as we get 136 on the ground, I want it isolated. We gotta keep them here. Roger. We got 65 passengers, eight crew. We also have a handgun waiver. Police lieutenant supposed to testify as an expert witness at a trial in Detroit. 38 caliber, two inch barrel. Any extra ammunition? Nothing listed. Switch on the radio. United 41, understand. Going to New York Center. Trans World 714, heavy, hold short. Traffic at 11 o'clock. Have an emergency inbound. <sighs> That's a confidence builder. Cover 27. Say only what I tell you. Or this man will die. Cover 27, Roger. We have him in sight. Tell them we are landing. Answer no questions. Kennedy Tower, this is Trans Allied 136. Request clearance. Trans Allied 136, you are clear to land runway 22 left. Roger. We have confirmation on 22 left. Deploy your men. Team leaders. Run one way, two, two left. Let's go. What is your situation, 136? Come on, Captain, talk to me. First time at night. It's like your first true love. You never forget it. It's definitely an E ticket. Yeah.
He's coming in clean. 100 feet. 50 feet. Traffic on my tail. Do what you are told! Stopping on the runway. 136 taxi off the runway. We have traffic coming in. Eastern 72 go around. Eastern 72 go around. Fly heading 230, maintain 5,000 feet. 22 left is blocked. Go around. No high ground, ground, no cover. Zero. Kill the runway lights on 22 left. Take them out. I'm closing down this side of the airport. Notify Newark and LaGuardia. Divert the appropriate traffic. CT leader to control. Be advised, we have to readjust position. We have no point of view of the target site. Roger, CT leader. We have no contact with a hijacker. We have no indication of your targets at this point. Get some lights out there on that airplane. Right away. Aren't you getting off? We're not at the terminal yet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated until the aircraft has come to a complete halt at the terminal. This is Sniper Team 1. I have a target. Male Caucasian in the cockpit appears to be armed. Sniper Team 1, stand by. Sir, would you please sit down? What's going on here, lady? First we're diverted to New York, and then we're parked on a runway in the middle of nowhere. Sir, would you please return to your seat? I don't move till I find out what's going on. Why not do as a woman asks? The hell has this got to do with you? Oh, oh, no one moves! Understand? No one. There are no heroes on this flight. Don't forget that. Do as you're told, or you end up in a body bag. Bring all of those passengers to the rear. Move to the back, all of you. Now. Move. You don't talk. You oh, talk, you die. That's a Mark II's fragmentation grenade. It has a three-second fuse. Anything happens, anyone gets stupid. She rolls her grenade down the aisle. A few of you will die quickly, the rest will hold your breath until the fuel tanks explode. That's the last thing you'll hear as you're burned to death. Now, all of you, pull down the window shades. Do it now. Plane. 
Call the tower and tell them only who you are. Kennedy Tower, this is Trans Allied 136. Captain Malone speaking. Uh, give me your status at the present time, please, Captain. Tower, this is 136. I'm prepared to read a statement. The message is as follows. Flight 136 is held hostage. If you wish to save these lives, you must follow these instructions exactly. Do not attempt to rescue the hostages. Flight 136 is booby-trapped. If anyone approaches without our permission, we will blow up the aircraft. We are prepared to kill, and we have killed before. We want a fuel truck delivered to us. Approach is to be made from the front of the aircraft. These instructions are not obeyed. We will kill the passengers one by one. The first hostage dies in five minutes. Message is signed, People's Liberation Army. They're opening the lower emergency hatch. This is Sniper Team One. Yeah, go ahead. We have what appears to be a body drop from the airplane. Malone, this is Art Hofstetter. We are going to attempt to locate your fuel truck, but it could take some time. Service vehicle traffic is restricted at this point. I can't do it in five. Look, we're way out here on the tarmac. They're going to have trouble finding a fuel truck. They need time. You do not have time. I need to speak with their person in charge. They tell me you're going to have to speak to me. We're going to come out and pick up that body. Quickly. Do it quick. Aren't you going to give him the fuel truck? Not yet. Two minutes left, then kill one of the bourgeois pigs. Ice forward! Tell them of the gravity of the situation. Yes. There are 90 seconds left. Tower, this is 136. We have a desperate situation here. They tell me if they don't see a truck in 90 seconds, they're going to kill a passenger. Repeat. We have a desperate situation. You have to give us some more time. We're having trouble locating. 60 seconds, damn it! There are 30 seconds. Look, I'm sure they're doing the best they can. 25 seconds! It's not enough time! That is all the time there is! CT leader, get that fuel truck out there immediately. Wait, they're here. 
you are lying, I will kill you. We have the fuel. Great. They give us the truck. Get him back to his seat. Back to your seat. You, 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 oh. up to the front. You, up to the front. No, she's only a child. Up to the no, front. No, stop no. it, no, no. You're hurting her. Round one to them. Don't shove. Sit on the floor. You, hold it. You don't have Come to on. do this. Sit. We'll do anything you want. Well, what are we doing here? If they storm the plane, you will be the first to die. Driver, step out of the truck. Put your hands where I can see them. Damn well better know what you're doing. I want a symmetrical load. Be advised, I have a target, a male Caucasian. He appears to have a two-way radio and an automatic weapon. Roger, Sniper Team 1. Stand by. Get up. I do not like the look in your eyes. You'll be of no use dead. I agree with that. Look, we're not your enemies. You are the cause of all of our problems. Call the tower. Tower, this is 136. I have a further message. We demand to make a statement to the news media. We will only speak with someone whose face we know. We have 30 minutes to bring us Bob Hidalgo. End message. We'll do our best, 136. Get me the news director for station WLBD. Good thing they don't expect miracles. Yes. This is Art Hofstetter. Special Agent in Charge, Federal Bureau of Investigation. We have an airline hostage situation at Kennedy. This is an FBI priority matter. There's to be a news blackout. If you put this on the air, I'll pull your license. We need your cooperation. If Bob Hidalgo is not here in less than 30 minutes, people are going to start dying. Look, I'm not asking for much. Yank Hidalgo off the air. Stick him in your news helicopter. He's here in less than 20 minutes. Thanks.
kill those bastards. Softly. Softly. We gotta do something. Maybe you think they won't shoot us all? No. I think maybe they will. We must use our heads. It's a bad idea to start a fight you can't finish. I do not believe you are afraid. Just say I don't like losing. I thought I recognized your face. I've seen you on TV, right? Yeah, I used to be pretty. He's a boxer. Might come in handy. So far, I don't like the odds. You! Get up! Now! Put your hands on the seat in front of you. Where do you work? In between jobs. What do you do? Mostly work with my hands. Turn around. Now, move. Back to your seat. Who in the hell are these people? They're good. Real good. No small talk, no wasted action. Is there anything that you can do? Can't get close without giving them warning. These guys won't hesitate to kill. Guys like that die before they give up. But they die by killing us all. So we wait. Do as they say. Why doesn't someone help us? What can they do? They bend you, Rita. How much fuel did they take? Uh, 100,000 pounds, Jet A. Mr. Hofstetter? Bob Hidalgo. Is it really true they asked for me personally? Yes. We're gonna need your cooperation. I assume this means I get an exclusive. You're gonna be all on your own out there, Mr. Hidalgo. Tower, this is 136. Any word on the television coverage? We're doing everything we can to meet your demand, but we still need some more time. Tell them that. I'll do my best. Control to CT leader, what's your status? 38 minutes to get the mobile rescue unit in place for an assault. All right, here's what I want you to do. Go out to the aircraft, Carry on a conversation with them. These people will not speak with us, so we've got to find some way to open up a negotiation. They know who you are. We need to know who they are. What kind of access exists? I need some video footage. Do not board the aircraft. Make any excuse you have to make. I can't afford another hostage. Now, I didn't come down here. There's 72 lives at stake here, so you'll do what you're told when you're told, because now they're your responsibility, too. Any grandstanding at all, I will step all over you, pal. You'll end up reading the weather on a PBS station in Nome, Alaska. Yeah, I hear you. I gotta see what I can get for Hidalgo. 136, this is Art Hofstetter again. I really need to speak to whoever is in charge. Look, they're trying to meet your demands, but talk to them directly. I can't keep acting as go-between. Do as you are told. They've repeated their threat to kill a passenger. You have four minutes remaining on your half hour. We have some good news for you. The television people are only five minutes out. Tell them not to do anything precipitous. No one needs to get hurt. Clock's running, Tower. We are negotiating in good faith. Tell them that. The news crew is on the way but we want them to give us some of the hostages in return. Tell them this! They have three minutes. 
Three minutes only. Three minutes, Tower. You have three minutes. CT leader, get that news team in place. Bring up one of the women. Give me 20 hostages. Then you can have the news crew. No one has to get hurt. We can work this out. Look, you've got to give them something. He is only trying to gain time. someone. The hijackers are on a timetable. Whoever's in that cockpit can't take the chance on a delay. Tower, this is 136. They're going to kill someone. Repeat, they are going to kill a passenger. We're doing the best we can, Captain. Tell them that. No one needs to get hurt. They can talk to Hidalgo, but we're going to have to make some kind of a trade on this. Don't move. Don't move! Release 20 hostages. We can't give in to them. We have only 30 minutes. After that, their assault teams will be in place. We must make this concession. It will be our last. Now release 20 hostages. Right. Tell him I will give him 20 passengers. I will wait two minutes for him to bring the newsmen. If he does not, I will kill all 20. You get 20 passengers, he gets the newsmen. You got two minutes, and then the killing starts. Doggo's got to be out there in two minutes. Just you, in the plane. Hey, we do it out here. We do it my way. You, in the van. first. Control, the newsman is being taken on board the airplane. Stand by, sniper one. Damn it. We lost another chance. What now? I've got to keep that plane on the ground for another 22 minutes. By that time, we'll have an emergency assault team in place. I've got to quit giving in to their demands. Either they negotiate, or I want to go in there after them. You, up to the front. You, you, 
You, lady, up to the font. And you. And you. You stay. You, go by the door. Come on. Move. Ah! You. No, 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 please. Take me instead. She can be of no use to you. Maybe I need help for the body count. However, I'm touched by your love for each other. I would not be the one to separate such a loving couple. You can both stay. The two of you, out by the door. You, old man. Oh, you stay. You, trade places with him. You go sit in the window seat. Hey! Move! Move! Are you hurt? Not yet. Control, they're opening the door. I have a target. Negative. We have women, uh, children, several men coming off the plane. No target here. America, this is our declaration of war. We have struck at your heart. You cannot hide from us. You are powerless against us because our cause is just! We do not fear death. It means nothing to us. So much for news blackout. Now the press will be here in droves. What do you tell them? No comment. So what was this all about? Over the last three or four years, this particular group has claimed responsibility for seven terrorist bombings. Their leader, Khatib Nasif, is in an English jail. He was behind the King's Road attack. But this hijacking, this is a new wrinkle. Came right into our heartland. Stuck it to us. And then shoved our noses in it. And then they had to let us know what it was they did. Can somebody get this thing out of here? Get in the truck and drive away. Why are you doing this? What do you hope to accomplish? You just gave us what we want. Get going. Start the engines. You can't take this plane up. I say do it now! Look, I don't have a flight engineer. I don't have a clearance. I don't have a flight plan. My first officer and I have not completed a pre-flight check. I'll start the engines when it's time to start the engines, not before. Speed warning. Tested. By the window. The man sitting on the aisle. You, middle seat. And the women in the aisle. You, move. next to it. You, here. Come on. You move by the window seat. Come on. Sit here. You, you sit here. Hey, you. Hands on your seat. Come on. You don't have to hit him. <laughs> You did that to him. I won't take this from anyone. Turn one. Turning one. Control, they're starting the engine. They're starting the engine. They're firing up. 
Shoot out the tires. Shoot out the tires. I can't do that. It's too close to the fuel tanks. All it takes is one ricochet. Where can they be taking us? Maybe in somewhere exciting. Paris, Rome. Beirut. Do that again, lady. I'll break your camera. Nobody's ever gotten pictures like this. Please, don't call any more attention to us. Kill those floods. We've got no clearance. Let's go! We gotta give him runway lights. Can he take off without them? No, it's too dangerous. He's gotta have lights. Not yet. Alan, it's pitch dark. There's no way to get airborne. Full throttle! No! Otherwise, I blow up the aircraft! All right! Flap 10 degrees. Flap 10 degrees and set. Release brake. He's full power. He's gonna roll. He's gotta have lights. This is our last chance. He's rolling. Okay, give him the lights. Open this part of the airport, notify Newark and LaGuardia. We're open for business. Now what? London. Are you out of your mind? Chart it! It's been a long time since I navigated. We get it up in Iceland. Then you will end up dead. Look, would you mind cutting me a little slack? This time of year, the Atlantic Carter is a bear. We got freak storms, heavy air traffic. London's a bad idea. Shut up! Shut it! How are we doing on fuel? We're tight. We're very tight. They're heading east, out over the Atlantic. Art? This is Mrs. Spooner, Tammy. This is Mr. Hofstadter. Would you like something to eat? Do you? It's all right, sweetheart. Mommy will be right here. Why don't you sit down? I know what a terrible ordeal you've been through, but I need your help. Can you tell me how many terrorists you saw? Three. No, four. There was one in the cockpit. And they all had guns. Were these handguns or rifles? Handguns. And, um, grenades. Oh, uh, one of the men said something about, um, fragmentation. Mark II fragmentation grenades. The woman was very cruel. There's a woman? Yes. She's more like a man. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, I think I do. Oh, one of the men is French. All right. All right, this is very important. Um... Uh, this man, was he uh, well-dressed? 
Very polite. Yes. Yes, he spoke like a gentleman. He seemed, you know, like he might even be a nice person. Except, well, you know, he, he's one of them. Jean-Baptiste Rene. Did you see this man on the plane? Yeah, he, I think he's one of the passengers. Mm -hmm. Did the uh, terrorists single him out, or mistreat him in any way? No. Did they search all the passengers? Yes, they searched us all. They, they took our wallets and, and, and our jewelry. This man is a police lieutenant. We think he has his service revolver. If this man is a police lieutenant, why didn't he do something? Maybe he just hasn't seen the right opportunity. Come in, London Heathrow. This is Transallied 136, Captain Malone speaking. I have a message. Stand by to copy. People's Liberation Army has only a single demand. Our leader, Khadiv Nassif, has been imprisoned by the reactionary English government solely for the purpose of turning him over to our enemies. Khadiv Nassif is to be taken to Heathrow Airport. Your message will be passed along, 136. We are not authorized to make this decision. There shall be no negotiation. There shall be no compromise. Finish it! So this demand is met by an official of the British government. One passenger will be executed every hour, starting now. You can't do this. He moves, kill him. Turn around. Transallied 136, this is London Heathrow. Stay on this frequency. Can you give us a flight plan? Scotland Yard, priority. Notify the London Metropolitan Police and the Special Air Services. with the others. Please. Oh, God. Please don't let them do this to me. Please. 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 Please.
London Heathrow, this is 136. They just killed a passenger. Repeat, they just killed a passenger. There's not much I can tell you, Inspector, except that we have a tentative ID on one of the terrorists, Jean-Baptiste René, a political assassin. Our latest information has him placed with a group in Paris, but he dropped out of sight a couple of months ago. Inspector, where are you now? Uh, just leaving the prison. Now, we have only 20 minutes to bring Nassif to the Heathrow Tower. Their first demand came two hours into the flight. It was immediately followed by a killing. Which leaves 18 minutes until the first hour of the ultimatum. Has a decision been made on the release of Khatib Nasif? Not yet. The decision will be made at the highest level of government. I assume you already have special air services in place. These terrorists are superbly trained. They knew exactly how much time they had on the ground here in New York. We'll be ready for them. Meanwhile, I shall do my best to respond to whatever demands are made. Keep me posted. Just wait. Pray. That helps. I know this is hard to understand. The best thing we can do right now is nothing. Maybe take a few pictures. Sorry, no time for jokes. There's one thing you can do. If anything happens, get down on the floor. easy. A man doesn't have much in life, but at least he can choose when to die. Who will be next? I would not let them take you. I beg you, do nothing. Don't ask that of me. Hector, if I die now, I die happy. I have had all a woman could ask for. Love. Children. I have had an honorable life. Read them, please. It is all right, Hector. I am no longer afraid to die. Heathrow Control calling Trans-Allied 136. 136, I have a message. Unless Khatib Nassif is released to us and allowed to board this plane unharmed immediately upon our arrival at Heathrow Airport, this plane and the lives of all its passengers shall be forfeit. Your demands are receiving the most serious consideration at the highest level of our government. Further killing will only harm your cause. Repeat. Do not kill again. As a gesture of our goodwill, Khatib Nassif is here with me. They want him to speak. I 
shall let you speak to them. Huh? They'll know that you're here. But just identify yourself, nothing more. Give me your word. My word? I would certainly never accept yours. This is Nasif. I am here. It's all on tape, sir. We can get it translated. Oh, don't bother. Make them afraid. Make them feel the terror. You're well educated for such a stupid man. Delay in responding will only result in more executions. The responsibility is yours. End message. You have no choice. Free me, or the blood of all those lives will stain your hands. Why do you stare at me? I'm sorry. Get up. Get no. Up. No, please don't. <laughs> no, don't take me. Please. Uh, my legs are. Get can't. up. No, please. Move. Uh, please don't. London, I'll, I'll tell him you shot him. They will know you are lying by your voice. He's done nothing to you. No one is innocent. Please don't let them do this. Please. I don't want to die. Please, not like this. Please. London Heathrow, this is 136. What the hell are you doing? They just killed one of my flight attendants. Repeat, they just murdered a woman. They keep right on killing. Okay. We gotta keep our heads. We just gotta stay calm. Just wait for the right time. I have seen their kind of brutality once before. Almost 50 years ago in Poland. A small village north of Warsaw. My father was a tailor. The Nazis came with tanks. Blitzkrieg, they called it. The soldiers stayed on afterward long enough to round up the Jews. A few they shot. The mayor, others they sent to the camps. I lost my family. What I remember is no one did anything. What could you have done against tanks? We could have made them pay a price, however small we... Later, many died in the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. But they died as men. If they pick me now, I am not going to go. Just take it easy. I will not go through this again. One dumped unconscious on the runway like yesterday's garbage. Now two assassinated at 37,000 feet. Well, what happens when they find out the British government refuses to release Khatib Nasif? Blow up the plane? Hostage debriefing places Lieutenant DeSalvio in the rear coach section. 
Most likely he's in a window seat. Vision is limited. There's probably a couple of people between him and the aisle. Well, the terrorists searched him. Apparently, they didn't find the 38. Which means he stashed it. So all he needs to do is to climb over a couple of passengers, locate his handgun, and then confront four terrorists armed with 9 millimeter Brownings, Mark II fragmentation grenades, and an MP5 automatic. Piece of cake. Guys like you only have one name. Laura Kendrick. I don't want to die next to a stranger. Things aren't that bad yet. Don't kid me, Salvio. We both know better than that. to the English coastline. We don't have any clearances. You don't need any. It's not time yet. We must tighten the screws. You. Stink of trouble. Damn them. They're not gonna kill her, not yet. It's not time. to come back for you later. I want you to think about dying. Why do you not look at me now? Be because Say nothing, Rita. You should both have your chance to live. But you had that chance in New York now. You can't no, no. no, don't do it! No. Stay! No. Stay! No. Okay, give it to me. Just give it to me. 
Watch him. What if he comes to? Then kill him. Take care of them. One more to go. Police Lieutenant, you guys okay? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Radio's out, aircraft secure? I'll take a look. Tie her up. But what? Find something. I say we try him right now, right here. They can't be allowed to go free. They've got to be punished. <laughs> we all know they're guilty. How much more do we need? Hijack. Kidnapping! Cold-blooded murder, for God's sake! And if you're still wondering, you're still asking yourself questions, and go up front and take a look at those two bodies up there, and remind yourself it could have been any one of us. Hey! What? Stop waving that thing around at people. Look, if we just turn them over to the police, I mean, if we just turn them over, then maybe there's going to be a trial, and maybe they go to prison. But then what? Some other group of terrorists hijack some other airplane so that they can get them out? Or maybe they could trade it for some uh, political group of prisoners. It's happened before, you know. We just... We just cannot let it happen this time. Still can't raise them. We're putting special air service into place. All we can do is wait. God knows how many people are dead. How can you guarantee us that they'll be executed? Or even sent to trial? How the hell can I guarantee you anything? But I'll tell you this, pal, it is not for us to judge them. Then who better? You saw the bodies. These bastards shot those people point blank, and they never had a chance. Maybe you think it's open season on Americans, huh? No, we are freedom well, fighters, and we will not bow down to you. You're no freedom fighter. You're just a murderer. You saw what they did. They were ready to kill all of us. They should be executed. Lady, I agree with you. They should be executed, but with due process. That's the law. And can you promise that the law will punish them? Times I've arrested some creep and I'd want to knock his brains out onto the sidewalk because I knew he was guilty. Do you know how many times I've seen guilty men go free on technicalities? How many times I've seen murder one plea bargain down a jaywalking? But it's not my job to judge. I do not have that right and neither do you. We have got to trust the system. No, listen. There is some justice that don't take place in a courtroom. Hit it with that camera or I'll wrap it around your neck. Wait a minute, stop it. What the hell is going on around here? This is my aircraft, and I'm captain of this ship. And I have the responsibility of all of your lives, including these three. Now, there's not going to be any argument. We're five miles up, 500 miles from land. We're flying over international waters. But this is an American ship. 
we're gonna play it by the book. Now it's imperative that I remain in the cabin. I'm gonna try to land this plane in Heathrow in one piece, so I'd like a little cooperation. Understand? So I'm ordering you sit down and fasten your seatbelts. We land in less than an hour. This Alvio, you're in charge. So would you please sit down? Look, we can't let these murderers go free. We cannot do that. I am only saying this once. No one, no one is taking the law into their own hands. Who is talking about the law? We're talking about justice. Exactly. Justice. We sat and watched these animals murder innocent people. We just sat here, relieved because it wasn't us. Are we going to sit here again and do nothing? It is not our responsibility. It is not. You want to trust their fate to uh, lawyers and petitions and to governments? We know what we have to do. All we need is the guts to do it. Truth is, we have to make a choice, but not this man's kind of choice. These are brutal people. They have committed unspeakable acts of butchery. But the worst thing they've done is they've defiled the laws. They've broken the covenants by which we live in peace with one another. But if we exact revenge on them, we are no better than our day. And if we break the laws of man and God to punish them, then we become what they are, lawless barbarians. Not lawless and not barbarians. No, I am a lawyer. And I do believe in due process of law, but I would never, under any circumstances, defend this gut hair trash. These are trained terrorists. These are disciplined killers. These people make war on civilians. Where were you trained? In Libya? In Cuba? They kill women. They kill children. They kill old people. And when this plane lands, they are going to seek the protection of the very law which they have made a bloody mockery of here. They are beyond the protection of our laws. Now, wait a minute. I agree with this man. I'm just as angry as you are. But we must be, if not merciful, at least just. The people they killed were innocent. Where was their justice? Let's go, Rita. Where are you going? I don't want any part of this. You are wrong, my friend. If you walk out on this, you're responsible. You must speak up for what you believe. You must take responsibility. You must not give up your conscience. We know this is wrong. And I believe as my husband does. Wait a minute, wait, wait. You, you talk about being responsible, about taking responsibility. Well, that's exactly what we're doing here. I know you are angry. All you can think of is revenge. But a day from now, two days, you will have time to think and reflect. Then you'll know you are wrong. And you'll regret it. Then we'll have to live with that. There's no way we're going to let these butchers go. Killers now we're doing just what they did. Just you think that's them? right? Go ahead, say something. Sword. OK. Give me the gun. You think it matters? Allied 136, this is London Centre. Do you copy? Still can't raise 136. Special air services are prepared to move in. Still no word from the Prime Minister. Five minutes. 